here's what you need. A suitable container for liquid waste and another for fuel, a strap wrench, a cat part 1U8760 chain wrench, a clean shop towel, a torque wrench, a replacement filter seal, clean diesel fuel, clean engine oil, two new dry fuel filters, and proper personal protective equipment. A few quick reminders. To make sure fuel is filtered and uncontaminated, fuel filters should not be filled prior to installation. To avoid personal injury, avoid fuel leaks or spills, especially near hot surfaces and electrical components. Be sure to clean up any leaks or spills as they occur. Do not smoke while working on or near the fuel system. Step 1. Ensure the start switch is in the off position and disconnect the battery. Wait 60 seconds for the fuel pressure to purge from the high-pressure fuel lines. Step 2. Shut off the fuel supply. The steps required to shut off the fuel supply will vary depending on the genset's configuration. Now, Section 1. Changing the primary fuel filter. Step 1. Place a suitable container under the drain valve on the bottom of the water separator. Turn the valve counterclockwise to open. Step 2. Drain the water and sediment into the container and dispose of the fluid according to local regulations. Step 3. Close the drain valve. Step 4. Hold the bottom of the filter while you loosen and remove the bowl. Step 5. Turn the filter counterclockwise to loosen it. If the filter will not turn, use a strap wrench to assist with this procedure. Step 6. Remove the filter and discard it according to local regulations. Then clean the bottom of the filter mounting base by wiping with a clean shop towel. Make sure all of the old filter seal is removed from the bottom groove of the opening in the base. Step 7. Inspect the water bowl seal. If the seal is worn or damaged, replace the seal. Step 8. Lubricate the new seal with clean diesel fuel. Step 9. Apply clean diesel fuel to the seal of a new dry filter. Step 10. Install the new filter onto the base. Tighten the filter by hand until the seal contacts the filter base. Once this occurs, tighten the filter an additional one-third to one-half rotation. Step 11. Install the water separator bowl onto the new fuel filter by hand. If needed, use a torque wrench and tighten the bowl assembly to 15 newton meters or 11 pounds per foot. Section 2. Changing the secondary fuel filter. For models with multiple secondary filters, repeat the following steps for each filter. Step 1. Place a suitable container under the fuel filter to catch any fuel that might spill and wipe the filter with a clean shop towel. Step 2. Using a Cat Part 1U8760 chain wrench, remove the canister from the engine. Make sure to dispose of the used canister according to local regulations. Step 3. Insert a new dry filter into the canister. Lubricate the new filter's O-ring seal with clean engine oil before installation. Step 4. Install the new filter onto the base and tighten it by hand until the seal contacts the filter base. Step 5. Once this occurs, rotate the filter another 360 degrees to ensure it is sufficiently tightened. 
Step 6. Remove the container under the fuel filter and dispose of the fluid according to local regulations. Finally, Section 3. Prime the system and check for leaks. Step 1. Open the fuel supply valve and reconnect the battery. Step 2. Unlock the fuel priming pump by turning the handle counterclockwise. Purge air from the fuel system by moving the plunger in and out until a strong pressure is felt in the fuel priming pump and the check valve clicks. This procedure will require considerable strokes. Step 3. Once the check valve clicks, lock the fuel priming pump. After the system is pressurized, crank the engine and it should start. And finally, step four, stop the engine and check for leaks. For more information on how to maintain your CAT generator set, be sure to check out our other service videos or contact your local CAT dealer.